my name is Hidesh Narasheed, I am from Anora. So last class we discussed about a topic from 9th standard that is triangles. In triangles we already discussed about what is meant by triangles and the concept of congruency. Based on the concept of congruency we have to discuss about criteria of congruency that is. So let us move on to the next part that is criteria of congruency. Criteria of criteria of criteria of congruence yes so we already know about that one about congruency that means two triangles are congruent their corresponding sides and corresponding angles are equal here based on that one so we are having some of the axioms related to the criteria of congruency that is so firstly i will take the sas congruency or axiom 7.1 so let us take axiom 7.1 or sas congruency axiom 7.1 or we are calling it as a sas congruency Yes, we already know about axioms. Axiom means, so the statement we can easily take it as a true statement. We can accept it as a true statement without any proof needed. So, likewise we have to take it. So, the axiom 7.1 or SS congruency tells us that. So, firstly the we have to know about what is that uh, SAS. Yes, AS means it's a side angle side congruency. Side, angle, side. That means here two sides are there and one angle is there. So from that one we can easily take it as a side, two sides we want and one angle we want. That is we can take it as a side, angle, side congruency also. That is side, angle, side congruency. congruency or we are called as a SAS congruency also. SAS congruency yes yes the action 7.1 or side angle side congruency or SAS congruency tells us that if two triangles are congruent if two triangles are congruent there one side one two side and the included angle of one triangle and are equal to the two sides and included angle of another triangle that means if two triangles are congruent firstly we have to take two triangles there two sides two sides two pairs of corresponding sides are equal and included angles are also equal then only we have consider it as a those two triangles are one and the Congruent. That is. So firstly, I will take the statement here. If two triangles are triangles are congruent, 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 then two sides, two sides, and Included angle, two sides and included angles, included angles of angle, included angle of one triangle, one triangle are equal to the, are equal to the, to the corresponding two sides, corresponding Corresponding two sides and included angle, included angle, corresponding two sides and included angle of another triangle, another triangle. 
सो दिस इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ एस एस कांग्रेसी और साइड एंगल साइड कांग्रेसी सो दिस इज द एंगल एक्शन टेल्स इज दैट इफ टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कांग्रेट दैट टू साइड्स एंड इंक्लूडेड एंगल ऑफ वन ट्राइंगल आर इक्वल टू द करस्पोंडिंग टू साइड्स एंड इंक्लूडेड एंगल ऑफ अनदर ट्राइंगल सो लेट अस टेक बाय टेकिंग सम ऑफ द एग्जांपल्स हियर फर्स्टली वी हैव टू टेक द वन एग्जांपल सो हियर फर्स्टली आई विल टेक वन स्क्वायर Here I will take the square here. So all the sides of the square are one in the same. Are one in the same? Yes. Then I will draw a diagonal. Diagonal. When we draw a diagonal, when we draw a diagonal, the whole square converts into two triangles. That is, here I will take A, B, C. Yes. So here there are two triangles formed here ABC and ACD ADC. So what we have to do is firstly we have to split two diagonals and write it separately. So that is here I will take ABC triangle here. Yes, this is the ABC triangle. Here I will write that one ABC triangle here. Then. So also here we have to take here I will take this is ABC triangle ABC and here another triangle is formed that is ADC. So here we have to write exactly similar to this triangle. That is so here just observe the right angle triangle is here. Here it is also completely a right angle triangle. Here it is also a completely a right angle triangle. So here it is a completely right angle triangle means here it is in the corresponding part. So we have to take that D point. That's why we have to take correctly. Yes. Then here I will draw another triangle, another right angle triangle here. It's like this. Yes. Here, just observe well while we are taking the coordinates. Here, when we are taking the vertices, we have to confident about that. Here just observe here it is a 90 degree means it must be D. That means here A is common here, so that's why A. Here we have to write. So that is here A is there, here A is there. So those two are correspondents. Here here it is C is there, here it is C, here it is C, here it is C. So that means C. So that means those two are in the corresponding parts. So here we will get. Two right angle triangles from this square when we draw a diagonal here. So here just observe. So here we want to take SAS criterion. So when we have to prove these two triangles ABC and ACD, those two are congruent. Then we have to take two sides are equal and included angles are equal. Okay. So just observe here. So here all the sides of a Square are equal, so that means property of square tells us that all the sides of a square are equal. So that's why we can we have to take all the sides of a square equal. All the sides of a square, sides of square are equal. So then we can take here AB and AD. Here AB and AD are the corresponding sides. So that's why we can take AB is equal to AD. AB is equal to AD. So it becomes a side, corresponding sides. Then, so here just observe ABC is equal to ADC because both are 90 degree. It is angle ABC is equal to angle ADC is equal to 90 degree. Yes. Then. Here the structure AC is common to both. AC is common to both. So those two sides. That means this side is common to both the triangles. Means those two are equal. That is AC is equal to AC. So because it's a common side. Because it's a common side. So here it is an angle, and here it is a side. So we just observe the side angle side criterion. Side angle side criterion. That means if two triangles are congruent, if two triangles are congruent, we have 
when we have to prove two triangles are congruent so then so the there are two sides and included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides and included angle of another triangle that means here one pair of corresponding angles are equal corresponding sides are equal here another pair of corresponding sides are equal two sides are two corresponding sides are equal so also included angle so one included angle is also equal because those two are 90 degree that means it becomes side angle side criterion so when the side angle side side is exhibit between in the two triangles then two triangles we are consider it as a those two triangles are congruent only that's why we have to write triangle abc is congruent to triangle adc triangle ADC. That means this sign we are showing it as a similarity. So initially we are taking it taking it as a similarity, but in also congruence of triangles we have to use in this sign because it's a near to it's a equality. Completely it's a equality. It shows completely those two triangles are equal. So also it shows similarity also. Yes. So but similarity is different and congruence is different. Similarity means. It's a proportional. The sides are proportional. The ang angles are same, but sides are proportional. But here in this case, the both the sides and the both the corresponding sides and corresponding angles and co like that. So all corresponding parts of congruent triangles are same. So that's why we are taking it as a, those two triangles are congruent. After that one, we can take all are equal. That is so. When we got this one, so we can all the sides and all the angles are equal here. So this is about the side angle side side congruence. So let us take some of the examples based on side angle side congruence. The first problem tells us that in figure OA is equal to OB and OD is equal to OC. So figure is given here. So OA is equal to OB and OD is equal to OC. So where is OA? So here it is OA is equal to OB. That means these two are equal. So I will write it as one line, single line. So these two indicates both are equal. Then and OD is equal to OC. That means here OD. I will take the two lines like this. OD is equal to OC. So these two are equal. And show that triangle AOD similar to triangle BOC and AD is parallel to BC. Here we have to prove. Both. So, firstly, we have to know about what are the given, what we have to prove. So, firstly, we have to write the given things. Given. What are the given terms here? OA is equal to OB and OD is equal to OC are the given terms. Then, proof. To prove. What we have to prove here? That is triangle AOD. Is equivalent to triangle BOC. Then AD is parallel to BC. We have to prove. So here we have to prove these things. So then let us prove. So we know about SAS congruence rule. So that means here we want two triangles. So whether there is a two triangles are there. So here it is given. We have to prove that AOD is equivalent to triangle BOC. That means there are two triangles we have to consider AOD and BOC here. So in the rough part you have, you, can try, you, can, you have to write those two triangles firstly. So here there are two triangles are there. I will write here. So in the rough part you can write Firstly, we have to split into two triangles because we want two triangles in this whole chapter. Yes, here is another triangle. So, no need of that whether it is exactly equal or not. We don't want, but we have to, we want two triangles by analysis. That is, here one is the O, O, A, D. Here is also we have to write O because so here O is the common that means that becomes corresponding that is O here we have to 
aware of these things. Here O A is there. Here O A is is equal to O B. You got the point here? O A is equal to O B. That's why here O A is equal to O B. We already know that one. That's why we have to write P here only because it becomes corresponding sides. So here those two are same. Then here we have to take C. That means those two sides are same here. So we know about that one. Yes. Then with the help of those two triangles we have to prove the things. From the SAS congruence proof. So that is proof. Let us take proof. So consider triangle OAOD and triangle BOC. Consider triangle AOD and triangle BOC. Or AOD or OAD, both are same. AOD you can write. No problem. Yes. Triangle AOD and triangle triangle BOC. Then, so here just observe. We already given that one. That is OA is equal to OB. Yes. OA is equal to OB because it's a given thing. Already it is in the given. Then, here just observe those two corresponding sides. It's OD and OC are one and the same because it's a given. OD is equal to OC because it's a given. Yes, we got two sides here. So just observe the original figure. So here just observe when we are considering AB and CD are the intersecting lines. Then here the two angles are formed. What we call it one? It's a vertically opposite angle. Those two are equal. That means here this angle and this angle those two are equal. That is. AOD, AOD is equal to BO, BOC. So those two are equal. So that is consider, consider AB and BC. AB and BC, AB and BC are intersecting lines. Intersecting lines. Then vertically opposite angles are equal. That is AOB angle. AOD angle AOD is equal to angle BOC BOC because it's a vertically opposite vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles so just observe here so here it is two sides are equal two corresponding the two pairs of corresponding Sides are equal and one included angle is equal. So that's why here it is we can take SAS criterion. So from that two triangles are congruent. There two sides and in two sides and included angle of a one triangle and corresponding two sides and included angle of a another triangle both are equal. So then we are consider it as a those two triangles are one and the same. So that's why from SAS congruent. From SAS congruence rule, from SAS congruence rule, because okay, why why we take SAS? That is SAS. We have SAS congruence rule. So that's why, therefore, triangle AOD is equal to triangle BOC. So we have. Two triangles are similar. After this, we can take here the corresponding and all and all corresponding angles are equal and all corresponding sides are equal here. So let us take all those one, all those things. I will part this one so here. I will draw just some parts here. Yes. So how can we take that one? So when we have triangle AOD is equal to triangle BOC. So here we have O A is equal to O B, O D is equal to O B, O A is equal to O B, and O D is equal to O C. So from the from those two triangles are congruent means that A D is equal to B C. Also we have A D is equal to B C because it's a C P C T. 
Then, so here these two angles we have already it is equal. Then we can take OAD is equal to OBC. That is OAD is equal to angle OBC. Angle OAD is equal to angle o, OBC. And also here another set that is angle ODB. Angle ODA. Angle ODA is equal to angle OCB. Yes. So consider look at this these two angles here. So here angle OAD. Here angle OAD here and on angle OBC here. And then here it is I will take like this. Then angle ODA. Angle ODA. I will take this as three marks. Yes. Then angle OCB. Those two are equal. Angle OCB. Yes. So just observe this. Those two angles here just observe. So when we are considering BC and AD are parallel lines and BA, AB is the transversal. So what about these two angles? These two angles are alternate interior angles. And also these two are alternate interior angles. So according to the theorem, already we learnt in the last chapter that is when two triangle when two intersecting lines, when we have two intersecting lines, there alternate interior angles are equal. We proved that one also. So that means from that one, so we have those two conditions because these two are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. Therefore, so these two lines that is AB, AD and BC are parallel lines that is in that four AD is parallel to BC because when alternate interior angles are equal so those two lines we are call it as a parallel lines here so here we have the proof so initially we got triangle AOD is equal to triangle BOC and here we got AD is parallel to BC here. So here we use the SAS congruence rule or SAS congruence rule to prove this condition. So let us take the next problem. The second problem tells us that AB is a line segment and line is a L line. Line L is a perpendicular bisector. If a point P lies on L, show that P is equidistant from A and B. Let me see just observe that AB is a line. AB is a line. L bisects this line into two parts. That is, L is a line. L is a perpendicular bisect. So, line L bisects these two. Yes, a, a, B into two equal parts. So, that means A, C is equal to B, C. We can take. Then, if a point P lies on L, show that P is equidistant from a and B. So, show that P is equidistant from A and B. That means, here we have a point P on line L. So, we join A, P and B, P. So, we have to prove that A, P and B, P are the one and the same. So, here just observe, we have to know about which criterion. So, we have only SS criterion here. After some days, so after some chapters are over, so you have many criteria, SS criterion are there, SSS criterion are there, and A criterion are there, so many criteria are there. So in that time we have to observe carefully which criterion is useful for us. So just observe, when it's a perpendicular bisector means these two are equal, yes. Then, so let us just observe here, so when we bisect this one, when we split these two triangles into two separate triangles then here PC is the common side yes we can take there are two S's already have then here it is a 90 degree it's a perpendicular distance then here so we have a SAS triangle we can use here SAS congruence rule we can use so after getting after knowing some of the more congruence rule so you have to aware of which congruence is suitable for us so first thing you have to observe carefully which criterion is useful for us here Yes, so let us prove this one. So given, what is the given here? 
so l is the perpendicular bisector of kb l is perpendicular perpendicular bisector of bisector of ab so therefore what we have ac is equal to bc so we can easily take ac is equal to bc then so what we have to do another similarity is completed then if a point p lies on l if a p lies on l so that p is equidistant from a and b so that means what we have to prove here what we have to prove so here p is equidistant from a and b means so pa is equal to pb we have to prove pa is equal to pb so to prove it is to prove so then let us prove that one prove so here there are two triangles so if you are confused if you confused with the two triangles what are they corresponding angles what are the corresponding sides then you can write those two triangles in the rough part so here you can write like this here we have so you can write like this or like this so this is the one triangle and here also you can write like this only because we have to analyze which one which are the corresponding sides and corresponding angles Like this, we have to write here. Yes. So when we take that one here, the above part, that is P only, you have to take P here. Here also you can have to take P. So then AC. So here it is a 90 degree form here. So here 90 degree form. That's why here also 90 degree form here. Then here I mean you have to take C only. There is no any chance of that because. At the point of C, two perpendicular, that is two 90 degree, two right angle is formed. So here we have to take one side is A and another side is B. So you have to take like that. So here you can easily analyze which one is the corresponding side, which one is the corresponding angle. Side. So let us take those two triangles. That is consider consider triangle PAC and triangle pbc so why i am taking those two triangles that is pa and pb are the part of those two triangles so we can take easily when we prove those two triangles are congruent then we can easily write pa is equal to pb because those two are becomes cpct that is congruent part of corresponding triangles the so, congruent corresponding parts of congruent triangles so, so here So here we are considering those two triangles. What are the corresponding sides are equal here? So just observe AC is equal to BC. It's a given. It is firstly I will take AC is equal to BC because it's a given part. Then here AC is equal to BC. Those two are corresponding sides. Then here just observe PC is a common side. PC is a common side, so we can take it as a common. PC is equal to You see, because it's a common side, these two are common side, and finally we can take those two right angles. Those two right angles are equal. That is, angle PCA is equal to angle PCB. Angle PCA is equal to angle PCB. So this is equal to 90 degree. So I will take this as equation one, equation number two, and here I will take equation number. Three. So from equation one, two, three. So we have a two and two sides, two pairs of corresponding sides are equal, and one included angles are equal. From SS congruency, those two triangles are one and the same. That is from equation one and three, one, two, and three. We can take from SAS congruence rule. SAS congruence rule. We can take triangle PAC. Triangle PAC is equal to triangle PBC. When those two triangles, when those two triangles are equal and those two triangles are congruent, then we can take all the included, all the corresponding sides. And all the corresponding angles are equal. In that, one of the corresponding sides, that is P 
PA and TB goes to a weak pole. That is, therefore, all the corresponding corresponding parts of parts of congruent triangles congruent triangles are equal. So that is, therefore. P A is equal to P B. We have P A is equal to P B. When you prove these two triangles are equal with the help of some congruence rule, that is S F congruence rule, we use. So then you can take all the angles, corresponding angles, all the corresponding sides are equal. So here we want only this condition. So that means P A is equal to P B. That means we have to come to the conclusion that P is equation from P is equidistant from equidistant from from A and B. P is equidistant from A and B. So this is our conclusion from the SAS congruence rule here. So I hope you know about these things. You you have to find out two triangles. So better. So you have to know about which triangles we have to. Prove as a congruent. So consider those two triangles and try to take the SAS congruence rule and try to take the pairs of person, two pairs of corresponding sides are equal and your included angle are equal. So then we can use SAS congruence rule. So then we can write it as a two triangles are congruent. Then we can take all the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So you can take the corresponding sides are equal and corresponding angles are equal so let us take some of the homework let us take two x two homework here so firstly in quadrilateral acbd ac is equal to ad and ab bisects dac angle dac show that triangle abc is equal to triangle abd so here the figure shown that so there are triangle quadrilateral acbd is there so in that the diagonal one diagonal bisects that whole quadrilateral into two triangles so here there are some of the equality already given here so this and this side and this side is given and those two sides are equal and these two angles are equal so you have to find out another one side which is equal to both the triangles so after that you have to take those two triangles are equivalent and then you have to show that ABC is, A, is equivalent to ABD. Okay. When you find out another one side, when you found out another one side, after that you have a SAS criterion, SAS congruence rule. So then we can easily take it as a triangle ABC is equivalent to triangle ABD. So let us take the fourth problem that is in ABCD triangle quadrilateral in which AD is equal to BC angle DAB is equal to angle CBA prove that triangle ABD is equal to triangle BAC so I already told you that so when we have a similarity criterion like this so we better to take those two triangles consider these two triangles here and write it separately so and with the principle that you have to make correct about the congruent sides and congruent angles then when you wrote those two triangles or when you draw those two triangles in the rough so that one is a so the part of the corresponding sides are in the one side of the star already I have explained in the last video so likewise you have to arrange them so after that you have to find two angles so two sides and two angles Two, two pairs of corresponding sides and two pairs of one pair of corresponding angles. So then you can take it as a like this. Once these two are equal, once these two are equal, so you can take some of the other cons, corresponding sides are also equal CP, CT. From that you can find out you can have a relations like this. So from that you have to prove these three assumptions okay so i hope you you are capable of doing this because already you know about all the things about ss congruence rule 
So, those who are watching this video for the first time, please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. You can get the notification very easily. So, thank you one and all. Be safe and stay home.